going to fix the wing here. We're going to attach the flaps. And I tried this different than how I normally do it. Putting a piece of tape on the bottom. It worked out well. I, I did it a little different on the aileron, which you'll see in one of the other parts. Windland Scenics foam tack, my brush. I like using this glue. This glue, I could have repaired the whole thing with this glue if I wanted to. It just takes longer to set up because it's water-based. And when it's hot and humid like it is here in L.A., it takes it a long time. But it just thin coats, makes the best hinge. I'm not through with that yet. I'll come back to that. You gotta, you gotta make sure you separate it. You don't want them touching each other <laughs> or it'll stick. Then here I'm cutting a piece of foam for that notch that I'm missing. I, this foam, I probably shouldn't have used it. It's a little softer. I could have done a better job fixing that, but you know, I mean, it's good. If I mean, if I want to, I'll spackle it up. Uh, my plan is I'm gonna, uh, when we get back from Iowa, I'm gonna wire it up and put the wing on and um, make sure everything works then I'm gonna fly it and then after the flight I'll, I'll bring it back and um, then I'll I'll prep it and paint it so I was gonna use that EDF I was gonna put that EDF in <laughs> in my XY <laughs> uh, the arrows 64 millimeter EDFs have more power but the the X-Fly gets a little more flight time, so that's why I haven't upgraded my um, T7 to the um, Arrows EDF unit. I know everybody else does it the other way around, but to me, and the Arrows is much more power. I'm cutting the foam. Here I realize, and that might be smart, cut, not smart, cutting it towards my thumb. <laughs> good stitches uh, the ladies they, the ladies always treat me nice though when I go get stitches but um, I'm just glad the glue ones over I got a few pieces out there drying today that I did the last little bit hey, we got rain man rain and thunder I just barely got the yard mode in time I should have filled this better, but, you know, I mean, I'm just cutting the foam and shaping it, making sure it fits the crack, trimming the little pieces off, trying not to make big, big pieces. And it fits. There's a, you can see there's a little nick there, but I, I didn't really care. This video is going to end soon, so thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and becoming part of Team Let's Go Flying. Now I'm just going to prop this up and put a little more glue in there. But go ahead and subscribe, man. When we say part of Team Let's Go Flying, it's just... You know, like everybody around the world, man, that, you know, likes to go fly RC or let's go sailing if you like sailing. Because I do RC sailing too in my sail car. But um, just subscribe. Um, right now we lost a subscriber, so now we're down to 934. Thank you again for watching. This is Jeff saying, woo, woo.